So guys, Stark Passenger, we're on take three now because my technology is absolutely failing. I had so much enthusiasm when I first started recording, now I just can't be asked. Anyway, um, I'm using the card pack control within a tractor. Unorthodox, whatever, it works. And I'm putting together a mapping for it. We're nearly done on the mapping and I just thought I would showcase it because when I release it, obviously, it's going to be so difficult to write everything down, how it all works, and it's just going to be so much easier to just show you. So when it's complete, there'll be another video, but I'm putting it up as it is at the moment, so you can all get your heads around it. Well, I'll say all of you, I have nine subscribers, so I'm probably going to get about two views, and you're probably not even going to own one of these things. But anyway, yeah, so you should be able to see my screen, you should be able to hear the audio coming through. Um, let's just get to it. Okay, so... Car power control, version 1, about 10 years old, works amazing. Okay, we have scene 1, and the deck is split up like this. It goes deck A, deck B. Simple as that. Scene 1 is loops, okay? So, play the music. We have a 16 beat loop, 8 beat loop, 4 beat loop, 2 beat loop, 1, half, quarter, and an eighth. Okay, and it goes exactly the same on deck B. We have 16, 8 beats, 4 beats, 2, 1, half, quarter, eighth. Okay. Scene 2 is Q point. So we have for deck A, uh, Q point 1 to 4, 5 to 8, I should say hot Q really. And exactly the same for deck B. 1 to 4, 5 to 8. So you can get all your finger drumming routines in there and you can just quickly bang in cues on, on the fly. It's simple as 1 to 4, 4 to 8 for both of them. So we've got Q point 1, 2, 3, 4. So look, 7 in map 10. So I can literally just bang it in there, for example. And there it is. Exactly the same on both decks. Um, scene 3 isn't currently mapped to anything. I don't know if that's going to be effects or other controls. I haven't decided yet. We haven't worked that one out. Scene 4 is effects. Now this one's split down the middle. So we have deck A here and deck B here. Deck A, deck B. Simple as that. And the effects we have it on at the moment are turntable effects here. Because occasionally when you know, a really horrible song comes on, I go, oh shit, turntable effects. Switch over to my controller and bang. Whack it on, track just slows down in really ironic fashion, stops, and you can put the next track on. I don't use that too often, um, but it can do a nice effect. Uh, then we have uh, flanger, ring modulator, transpose, beat masher, ice verb. <coughs> and here we have uh, beat slicer. By the way, don't think I've played a camera trick on you. I only get three minutes of video recording, so I have to literally stop the recording and transfer it and then start recording again it's a pain in the ass anyway yeah and then beat slicer and then here we have basically a scroller it will just scroll through all the different effects so you can quickly select one that isn't in the selection um so i may map scene three to sort of the rest of the effects and it's exactly the same on deck b and um, it's just basically mirrored so if you look at it as a mirror um obviously turntable effects being here, that means turntable effects for deck B is here, uh, beat slicer here, so it's there, it's basically split down the middle, it is mirrored, so that's ring modulator, that's ring modulator on, on that side, it will be easier if uh, to let you see it, so see that, that's false, that's false, just perfectly mirrored, okay, and scene 5 is um, the remix decks, it basically triggers the samples. So scene five is remix deck. Well, it's actually deck C technically. It's remix deck one, whatever if you want to call it. Um, it just triggers the samples. So obviously you have slot one um, in each bank, or bank one each slot if you want to do it. And it's basically all four banks, all sixteen slots. Even though obviously there's a lot more than sixteen, it's all the sixteen visible slots. And scene six is remix deck D. Um, so essentially remix deck 2 it's exactly the same triggers all the samples 
and then we have up here um, I'll say these are mapped on everything other than scene one scene one they're current, not currently mapped on anything they got mapped them to the filter or something but every other scene they control the volume of the remix decks so like when you hit the remix deck sample sorry I've got I've gotten unloaded at the moment but when you hit it using the pad it will play the full sample whereas when you hit it on a controller when you've got it in like sample mode for example it will play it as long as you press it so what you can do here is you can actually select the sample so say okay I want that one to play and it will play on there and obviously to select it you would hit it but then you can turn the volume down so you can turn the volume all the way down select the sample you won't hear it in the background so you can turn the volume back up and then only play it in little segments on here if that makes sense um, so that's the only way I've worked out at the moment this is just the way this control is designed it will not only play a small section of the sample this is in hold mode it's just the way it's designed it's just the way it works um, this knob here obviously controls the volume for the second remix deck so you've got remix deck one volume control remix deck two and the same principle applies you turn down select your sample and then you can even quickly tap it on here and it will basically cut it as it is you might have quite a long sample and then you can play it in segments here as long as you hold down the button or whatever control you have just map the samples up like there this is already done with the mapping about samples so stick it in sample mode and there it is um, the this pad here is currently not mapped up to anything probably map that up to the effects maybe the second two knobs on the effects or maybe even all three obviously minus the wet and dry I'm not really sure yet but obviously this is just in the works um, I don't recommend trying to use this as a standalone control without anything else I did that for a little bit at first but I did also have uh, the modulation on my Axiom as a crossfader because it's very difficult to do a crossfader with a knob and that was already mapped up to my effects anyway um, but yeah it, it's a really great addition you can do some serious performing uh, with the 10 year old controller which is great and um, it's mini so you know it's not going to deteriorate with age just because it's old doesn't mean it's going to make things slow and naff um, any lag you noticed by the way was just because I'm recording the screen with a Bromcoff wraps which you're probably familiar with and it just really slows shit down my laptop's really rubbish um, so it just really does slow it down whilst actually performing we get, you know, we're full speed ahead. Um, that's basically it um, at the moment. Uh, it's in, you know, it's in production, but we're not finished at all. Um, but it's getting there. I just want to see if anyone's interested, or if you know, have any feedback or any suggestions, or if there's actually demand for this kind of mapping for such an old controller. Um, yeah, that's basically it. Um, if you want to check out my SoundCloud, that'd be awesome. I do produce music. It's mainly dubstep, but we've got a lot of chill tracks going on and older stuff. Um, I just wouldn't recommend listening to any of my mixes of rock because they're terrible at the moment. Um, but yeah, check out my SoundCloud and my Facebook, and that's basically it. Subscribe to get updates on this pad and my music and stuff like that. But yeah, there will be an update when I've finished the mapping for this. So, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.